thank you so much for tuning in. Really, really appreciate you. Never, ever, ever taking your time for granted. So please know that I read your comments. I respond to your direct messages. I really, really appreciate all of the love, all of the support that you guys give to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for following the show. So today's show is really, really an interesting topic. We're going to be talking about fear. We're going to be talking about fear, all right? And that fear is in relationship to investing in yourself, investing in your knowledge, investing in real estate, okay? Now, some of you know by now, I'm a business coach, entrepreneur, and real estate investor, and I teach other aspiring entrepreneurs how to be real estate investors as well, right? Sharing with them strategies and techniques that can help them infuse cash flow into their lives, into their business, into their future, right? However, there's always that element of, oh, am I doing the right thing, Jackie? Am I, you know, learning fast enough? Am I going in the right direction? And I'm like, where is this hesitation and this fear coming from? So today's show, we're talking about the fear of investing in real estate. So Thank you guys for tuning in, and we are going to be counting down on the top, was it six? I have six. <laughs> the top reasons, the six top reasons why people have fear of investing in real estate. And then we're also going to go over the five ways, right, the action steps that you can take to overcome those fears. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to provide you with some answers, right? And I came up with this list based on asking questions. What do people feel, think when they hear about real estate investing? Like where is their reservations coming from, right? They want to learn. They're really adamant about it. And they're excited when you hear about real estate. And then they're like, they love like the success stories, you know, and they're like, oh my gosh, this person made so much money. I think I, I want to do that too, right? I think I want to do that. And we're like, okay, good. You want to do it? Let's go. Let's do it. And they're like, no, no, no. I mean, I didn't mean like right now, maybe next year. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Next year, huh? All right. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you next year then. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the type of conversations I have every single day. So I wanted to know why people had fear. So I started asking questions. I took like a little mini survey. So here's the number one reason that people are afraid to invest in real estate. The number one reason, not enough money. All right. They are afraid to risk their money, their credit, or borrow money and they feel like, I don't have enough money, I'm not gonna be approved for a loan. I mean, they know what their financial situation is and they believe that they are not credit worthy enough to qualify for a loan in order to purchase property. Now, if you have a loan and you are purchasing property, that's one strategy that you can use to actually acquire real estate and, and start investing, but it's not the only strategy, all right? Matter of fact, there are many, many strategies that you can actually do, techniques that don't require any cash or little, little cash from you, all right? So just please know that. You don't have to have a boatload of money on reserve to start investing in real estate, all right? So I wanna just debunk that myth 100%. So that's myth number one, over, over, over. As a matter of fact, the first, um, no, the second, the second deal I did, cause I told you guys the first one I did, I totally botched that one up. <laughs> but the second one that is actually was profitable, all right? Did not require me to have any money. As a matter of fact, um, I uh, flipped a contract, right? So I didn't flip a house. I actually flipped a contract. I wholesaled a contract 
and I was able to cash like $5,500, that's $5,500. And that was the money that I used to invest in myself to go forward and to do another deal. I use a portion of those funds to go into my business, invest in my business so that I can do more deals. The first deal that I ever did, I actually did borrow money and it put me in a lot of trouble. So that's the reason why I'm an advocate for learning strategies that does not put your money at risk and you know anybody else's money at risk for that, right? You learn how to hedge against risks so that you don't um, have to be fearful of investing, right? You can actually make money without having to be at that risk by controlling risk. All right, so reason number two, overwhelming amount of information that you have to learn. <laughs> well, you know, that one's actually a valid concern. I can see why anybody would be like overwhelmed with the information because there's so much information online. I mean, at any given time, you all can go into like a social media group. There's a whole bunch of like real estate investing groups online. You can research on YouTube and watch a whole bunch of videos. There's a whole lot of people out there that are calling themselves experts, self-proclaimed experts, and they're sharing a lot of content, a lot of information. Now, there's nothing wrong with sharing information. I share information. However, everything has its time and its moment and its place and its relativity. So if someone is sharing information, but they're not sharing the whole story, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, is that information actually valuable to you? If you can't put all the pieces of your puzzle together to create one holistic picture, right? then yeah, it could be overwhelming trying to piece all of those puzzles, puzzle pieces, small pieces together to make a big piece, especially when you don't know what's missing. You don't know what you don't know, you know? So I can see that to be a valid, you know, concern, being overwhelmed with trying to put everything together. But the truth is, it's not really that difficult and it's not that hard. Once you understand what your priorities are, your, what, why you're doing what you're doing, what your goals are, what are you trying to accomplish, then you start um, to weed out information that's not ap applicable to what you're doing, right? So you have information that really just does not apply, okay? You'll be able to identify what information is relevant to you and what information isn't. So now you are really more targeted and more focused on the information that you ingest and you're more likely to be successful because you're information specific, all right? So don't be overwhelmed. If you're overwhelmed, that's because you're looking at too much stuff, <laughs> stuff that don't got nothing to do with you. You're looking at, you reading on it, all right? Just ignore all of that stuff and focus on one thing, one topic at a time, and that way you won't get overwhelmed when it comes on to making a decision if you're going to invest in real estate or not. All right, so here's fear number three waiting for the perfect opportunity to do a deal. So waiting for like the perfect deal and the perfect opportunity. Well, guess what? You're gonna be waiting a really, really long time <laughs> because the perfect deal and the perfect opportunity is an illusion, all right? That actually does not exist. Whatever opportunities that come to you, they come in all shapes and sizes. And the opportunity that probably is the most profitable to you is probably something that doesn't even look like it's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Many people walk away from opportunity and their blessing and their chance to be profitable because it doesn't look like what they think it's supposed to look like because they were misinformed by the information and everything that they're reading out there from somebody online that says that they should do X when they should do be doing Y. Remember, your situation is always going to be specific to you. You may have more time than you may have more money. You may have more money, but you don't have any time. You may have knowledge and experience, but you don't have time, nor do you have any money. You need to understand and address where your most valuable skills are and what resources you have. Once you understand what resources is most abundant to you, then you can formulate a plan that's actually going to be successful, all right? You'll be able to joint venture and partner with somebody else that complements 
all of the elements and the pieces that you don't have. So you don't really have to know all the answers. You really don't. And you don't always have to have all the money at all. Even if you did have money, maybe you don't even want to use it. So don't be fearful of any of those things. So if you're just tuning in, you're watching The Jackie Jackson, The Jackie Jackson Show, business coach, real estate entrepreneur, and coach, right, mentor. And we are talking about fear, the fear of investing in real estate and just jumping in and learning all of these different techniques and strategies that can help you cash flow your life. So here is number four. Are you ready? Afraid of doing the math, afraid of the numbers. <laughs> now, I get it. Investing in real estate does require you to know some math, right? But it really is basic. It's, you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and like uh, division. I mean, it really is that simple. It can be more complex, but that comes when your skill level also increases and becomes more complex, right? But to start out, it's just the basic math. Does it make sense or does it not make sense, you know? So, you know, one plus one is always going to be two, you know what I'm saying? So that's my point is that don't be afraid of learning new concepts, learning new skills, because it's not anything that you can't accomplish with a little bit of practice. Does that make sense? I want you guys to make sure that you're on the right page. A little bit of practice will go a long, long way. And just like when you were learning to do your multiplications and do your ABCs and all that cool stuff and learning how to write or learning how to ride a bike, this is no different. Investing in real estate is a get rich, slow process. It's not a get rich quick process. So people get discouraged and actually get like bored because they're like, ah, oh, I tried to invest in real estate. You know, they drove around the block a couple of times and like, ah, oh, I wasn't successful. Nothing happened. No money fell out the sky and hit me over the head. So that must mean that there's no opportunity here. Well, you're wrong. There's plenty of opportunity and it is everywhere all right i'm here to tell you it's everywhere so reason number five that's what we're up to reason number five is inexperience people think that because they like are not knowledgeable or you know they don't have like credentials behind their names and it you know there's no alphabets behind their names that they can enjoy the benefits of being a real estate investor and i'm here to tell you that single moms are out there. You have retired um, individuals that are successful. You even have young, young millennials that are out here, you know, haven't even graduated college yet. And they're out here and they are successful. And then you have the executive who has a full-time wonderful position. They love their career and everything. And they're learning these strategies and techniques and they're adding value to their life by employing these strategies and then using the extra cash to fund and add value to their lifestyle or to their retirement like you don't have to like leave your position or your job if that's not what you want there are many people that are investing in real estate right now and they are enjoying passive income that comes from it that's the income where you do the job one time, right? You do the task one time and it pays you over and over and over again, whether you're present or not, okay? That's what passive income is. It just comes in, you could be sleeping and you're earning it, right? So there's a lot of people that whether whatever their experience level is, whether they're brand new or whether they are, you know, consider themselves an expert. They all had to start from someplace. And if we all believe that because of our inexperience or lack thereof, we weren't going to continue on this path and journey of learning these techniques, then a lot of us wouldn't even be in business right now. I mean, everything in life is a new experience. I mean, birth is a new experience, right? You entered into the world. Walking is a new experience. I mean, everything is a new experience. So don't be afraid of new experiences and also, get your mind out of the fact that an inexperience means it's a bad thing. Just because you're inexperienced in something doesn't mean that it's a negative on you, you know? I think in our current school system, we've been taught that failure is like a bad thing. But for an investor and someone that's investing in themselves and stepping outside of what the norm is to create opportunity for themselves and their family, 
failing, they enjoy it. They look forward to it because the moment that they don't get what they want or anticipate getting what they want, the outcome that they want, whatever that result is that they're seeking, they know that there's going to be a learning opportunity behind that. And they're going to get and receive a very, very valuable lesson by failing forward. All right. So it's actually, <laughs> it's actually the opposite of what most people think. They're afraid to fail but in order to be successful you need to fail you need to fail stop avoiding failing all right that's why a lot of you are so you know uh, disappointed in your success level because you're too scared to fail and that's where your success is is on the opposite side of you trying to do something and not being successful and you're like huh i did it wrong let me try it this way and then you're like huh I did it better, but it could be even more better if I did it this way. And then you try it the third time and you're like, gee whiz, what was I waiting on? This is it. I found the magic formula. So don't let your inexperience deter you from following your genes as well as overcoming your fear. And then um, number six, lack of support. Lack of support from like your friends and your family. Have you ever shared a really cool idea with like your closest loved ones and companions and you they like they're like why are you doing that why that doesn't make sense where well, you gonna get the money to do that you can't do that first of all you not even smart enough to do that mm -hmm. who you think you are <laughs> trying to be special would you think you better you better than us trying to do something better <laughs> so it happens right i mean I think that our family and our friends and the people that are closest to us, I would like to believe that they are looking out for our best interests, all right? Because I'm always a glass half full kind of person. So I refuse to believe that they're trying to deter us on purpose. <laughs> but most times they really just want to hold on to us because they like us just the way we are. The moment that we change, then they got to change. And sometimes they don't want to change. So they're um, unintentionally, unintentionally trying to keep us as is so that they can stay in their comfort place. It has nothing to do with you or them trying to deter you or discourage you. It really is their own personal discomfort and the fact that they have fears of changing. So they're going to project their fears onto you all right so if you're just tuning in thank you so much for watching the jackie jackson show i am the jackie jackson business coach real estate investor and entrepreneur all right so thank you for watching i appreciate you and our topic of the day is why are people afraid to invest in real estate so we went over the top six right the top six um reasons which is well number one we're going to do a small recap here number one not enough money, right? They believe that they don't have enough money to move forward and to invest in real estate. Well, there are strategies out there that are available for you that you can use that do not require any of your money or your personal credit. And even if money is required, it usually is a small amount just to get started. You don't need a lot of money to get started or to learn any of these techniques successfully, all right? Number two, it's overwhelming to learn all the information. Yeah, it can be. If you running from here to there, everywhere trying to find information, you need to settle down and find out what you want. I mean, before you even start learning anything, you need to identify what your goals are and make sure that the information that you are acquiring and learning matches up with the outcome for your goals, right? Unless it, you'll just be learning stuff, just be learning. And it doesn't match up with what your reality is and what your intentions are. Fair enough? Number three, waiting for the perfect deal and opportunity. Well, newsflash, no such thing. <laughs> no such thing. You, there, there'll be good deals, right? There'll be good opportunities, but it'll be perfect. There's always going to be something in there that's like, what? Oh my God. Like, why is this in here? You done threw a monkey wrench in my plant. So it's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be like the ideal situation that, you know, you get like this, like, you know, sunshine from the sky. And now, you know, this bright light that came on you and smacked you in the face. It was like, this is it. You need to jump. You go now. No, that's not going to happen. All right. So stop waiting around and kidding yourself about that. All right. Afraid of the numbers and doing the math. All right. 
So math is math, right? So there are some formulas, there's some, you know, things that you got to know, but it's not hard. It's simple math. It's one plus, plus one plus one equals two. You know, it's one of those things. Um, inexperience, you could borrow somebody's experience. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> we all talk about borrowing somebody money. Did you know you can borrow somebody's experience? You can borrow somebody's experience. You can borrow somebody's time. You can borrow somebody's resources. So don't let that be an excuse. All that is is just partnering with somebody else that got a little bit more than you that compliments what you don't have. Hmm, what a, what a concept. All right. And then lack of support from families and friends, all right? So if you have a lack of support from family and friends, I'm a huge advocate for going outside of your circle and finding other people that do what you want to do or, or have already accomplished what you're trying to accomplish, right? That way you can get the support from people who are thinking about the same things that you were thinking about, all right? That way you won't get discouraged and then you'll have a chance to accomplish your goals, all right? It'll increase your probability of being successful by hanging out with people that are similar to you, similar to your goals, share a similar vision to, that you have and that have already accomplished what you want to accomplish. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how to overcome these fears, all right? Well, the first thing you have to do is identify what in the world are you afraid of? <laughs> and that's the thing that people don't want to talk about because fear is one of those things that people like totally bury, all right? They bury it. They don't even want to talk about it, address it, deal with it, nothing, right? So the first thing that you need to identify is why are you even fearful in the first place what it is that you are afraid of because sometimes we're afraid of stuff and it's just like an irrational reason it has there's like no validity to that reason whatsoever right so if you identify what that fear is write it down write it down on paper and then reread it then you can research how to overcome those fears. You can talk about it with other people who have been um, successful in accomplishing their goals and in investing in real estate and ask them, hey, did you ever have these same fears, you know, at some point in your, you know, real estate journey, in your investing journey? And I kid you not, you know what they're going to say? Yes. <laughs> Yes, 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 they did. And this is what they did. And they're going to share with you what they did to overcome it and how powerful they became once they did overcome those fears. All right. So you're not alone by any means. You're not alone. So also understanding your experience will increase over time. Now that's a big one. That's a big, big one. How to overcome fear. You need to accept that you don't know everything and it's okay not to know everything. As you progress in your journey, you will pick up knowledge along the way and you will get smarter, you'll get more efficient, you'll get more knowledgeable, you'll acquire more resources, you'll gain more time, you'll gain more friends. I mean, seriously, there really isn't anything to be afraid of. I promise you there isn't. All right, practicing your skills before you step out. All right, this is a good, good one. The other day, I had created a video regarding the pick your brainers, the people who want to network with you or you, you want to network with them, vice versa. It doesn't matter. You want to take them out for coffee, take them out for lunch, take them out, do all these crazy things because you want to pick their brain. I tell you what, that's called getting something for nothing. All right. If you want information, you want someone to invest in you, you first got to invest in them. And I'm not talking about some Starbucks cup of coffee either, all right? So if you want to learn how to do something, you need to practice it. So, okay, I don't know how to write yellow letter. I don't know how to write letters or I don't know how to communicate with sellers. Can I learn from you by helping you in your business communicate? Can I answer the phone for you? Can I take some of your calls? Can I practice with you? Can I go over, you know, how to do marketing? Can I do your marketing with you? You know, that's the kind of stuff that you need to be like offering to help someone else. And then in turn, you get to acquire the valuable skills and knowledge that you need in order to invest in yourself, all right? So that's really how it goes. Don't even worry about the lack mindset or scarcity mindset. Oh, why would someone show me what they're doing, you know? Um, aren't they going to be afraid that I'm a takeover and I'm going to, you know, decrease the amount of opportunities that they have or something like that. The truth is 
if that person understands and has the right mindset, they'll know that that's, that's a totally like opposite of reality type of thinking because there is enough opportunity and abundance and resources and deals and houses and everything for everyone here to take advantage of and be profitable with, all right? So if someone tells you no and you've offered to help them and you were like really sincere about it without any, you know, preconceived like um, ill intent, I assure you there's gonna be many, many people that want to help you in your journey, all right? And then the next one is borrowing confidence and borrowing knowledge from somebody else, right? So when you don't know how to do something, you remember when you were a kid and you didn't know how to do something, what did you do? You went and you went at, you asked, right? You're like, hey mom, hey dad, hey big brother, hey big sister, hey cousin, hey teacher, hey somebody, you asked. What happened to that? What happened to that as an adult? You know what happened to it? We got so full of ourselves and pretentious that we don't want to let anybody know that we don't know what we don't know. Hello. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Acting like you know more than you do when you know that you don't know because you want to you want to be perceived as knowing and being successful and all that stuff. Well, the first thing to being really successful in any industry is to raise your hand and to say, I don't know what I don't know. It's to humble yourself and to say, I don't know what I don't know. And be humble enough to borrow the um, experience and the knowledge from somebody else by investing in them. All right. What a concept. I know. Truly. <laughs> and the last but not least is to take effective action. Take action. Do something. Anything. Anything that's going to bring you one step closer to your goal, okay? So people are like, I just need to research a little bit more. I just want to read more. I want to watch more videos. I want to, you know, read more books, buy another home study course, or do something like that. Really? How long are you going to do that for? You got all this information and you've done absolutely nothing with it. How much more time you need? I mean, seriously, your family is waiting on you right now, all right? You need to do something with that information and actually apply it to yourself so that you could be successful and profitable. You spending all these resources, all this time and all this money, you're not doing anything? Nothing? Nothing? Come on, you could do better. <laughs> You can definitely do better. All right. So you are watching B. Jackie Jackson, business coach, real estate entrepreneur. All right. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed all of these keys to success here, why people are afraid. And if you're in this category, you already got some tips on how you can overcome them. All right. So don't be afraid to say what you don't know, take action, find friends, find a new circle. If your circle's too small and they don't know what you need to know, then you need to find a bigger circle, okay? If you're the biggest fish in your little pond, then you're wrong. You need to go find another pond that's bigger than the one that you are in that has people in it that's going to uplift you, all right? Uplift you and take you to the next level. Share stuff with that. And accept the fact that you don't know everything. That's okay. You're gonna get experience by just doing, which is basically taking action. Hmm. I know, I know. It requires some accountability, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching The Jackie Jackson Show. I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to send me your direct messages. Send me your uh, friend requests. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, anywhere that you can find me at the Jackie Jackson. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>